We've all heard tell of a magic lamp inside a cave, mystic and damp. But did you know, by some lucky stroke, the lamp ended up in Basingstoke? An evil wizard from Winklebury wanted the lamp most desperately, till he saw it one day amongst rubble and bones in an exhibition at Milestones. You know, the museum at Leisure Park, where the evil wizard was soon to embark on a mission to find the lamp he desired. But first, there was something else he required. I must find someone, he said with a smirk, to carry out my dirty work. He searched the museum for someone to ask to help him perform his evil task. He spotted Aladdin, a young sprightly teen. I'm sure he'll help with my devilish scheme. The boy who was on a trip with his school was honest and kind, but a bit of a fool. Listen, kid, the wizard said. You see that cabinet ahead? Inside is something that I need. I do not mean to beg and plead, but won't you fetch that lamp for me? You'll be rewarded decently. Gold and treasure I will pay, so long as you do what I say. The kind boy who was most naive knew deep down that he ought to leave. But the thought of treasure changed his mind, and so the lamp he agreed to find. After all, with riches sublime, I could afford to live at the vine. Of course, there really was no gold. That's just a lie, the wizard told. So Aladdin, happy to obey, approached the museum display. Climbing through a secret door, the boy started to explore. Among the varied artefacts, he saw the magic lamp intact. But the wizard then began to moan and muttered in a grouchy tone, Hurry, boy, waste no more time! Fetch the lamp, it's mine, all mine. The town of Basingstoke will cower once I've harnessed all its power. <laughs> Aladdin sensed that things weren't right and started to put up a fight. Why should I do that for you? And why this lamp must you pursue? The wizard mad began to shout, grab the lamp and just get out. No, Aladdin bravely said, do it on your own instead. Treachery! The wizard cried, for that I'll leave you trapped inside. He quickly locked the glass display and in a trice he ran away. Aladdin alone started to ponder, what's special about this lamp I wonder? The rusty thing's in need of a scrub. I'll clean it with a little rub. Then from its long and golden spout emerged a genie strong and stout. Three wishes I can grant for you. Your wildest dreams I'll make come true. Magic-wise, there's no one harder. I even outdo Harry Potter. Aladdin could not believe his eyes. Three wishes? What a great surprise. The first of my three wishes will be to escape milestones so I can be free. This cabinet is becoming a squeeze. Could you send me home to Chinham, please? The genie replied in a voice big and grand, It's done, your wish is my command! He dropped Al by the dragonfly pub, so they popped in and had themselves some grub. But as soon as Aladdin had finished his dish, he was already eager for his second wish. Wealth and riches grant to me, so I can live in luxury. My second wish I now declare, I yearn to be a millionaire. The genie, quicker than a flash, produced a massive pile of cash. But fortune always has a cost. Aladdin's kindness had been lost. He now thought he was better than most, and all day long he'd brag and boast, Well, hey, I'm richer than the queen. I'm the wealthiest kid you've ever seen. Meanwhile, the wizard from this tale, determined that he will not fail, disguised himself with beard and cloak. I'll outsmart that Aladdin bloke. Whilst he is gloating off his wealth, I'll quickly grab that lamp with stealth. And so, just like the wizard planned, he took the lamp into his hand, and in its place he made a swap for a plastic lamp from the corner shop. The wizard laughed. <laughs> I'm such a meanie. Now I possess the magic genie. But the wizard's plan was soon uncovered. The phony lamp had been discovered. Aladdin said in a manner drastic, this worthless lamp's a piece of plastic. <gasps> that horrid wizard's played a trick. I must retrieve the real lamp quick. But the wizard had already gone, and finding him would take too long. 
Aladdin thought, I know, perhaps I'll track him using Google Maps. And thankfully it worked a treat. He caught him by a nearby street. But no sooner had he found the man, a fight to claim the lamp began. Aladdin, using all his might, tried to grasp the handle tight. He struggled with a heave and ho, but the wizard wasn't letting go. Then the lamp slipped from the pair and threw itself into the air. It tumbled through the atmosphere. The fighting foes looked up in fear. Then they saw the lamp fall back to land and end up in Aladdin's hand. The boy relieved let out a gasp. I have the lamp back in my grasp. But why don't I feel satisfied? And then Aladdin realised. I've made things turn out rather tragic, showing off the genie's magic. Aladdin went on to explain. I used the lamp for personal gain. If only I had known before that being wealthy is a bore. I see in hindsight that I should have used the lamp to do some good. The genie flew out of the lamp and hollered, Do not worry, champ. There is no need to feel bereft. Remember, you have one wish left. Aladdin knew what he must do. I'll put an end to you-know-who. Because of how he tricked and cheated, it's time the wizard was defeated. In milestones the brute will stay, locked up in the glass display. The place he tried to capture me is where he'll live eternally. The genie said, I will obey, and sent the wizard on his way. Aladdin smiled and gave a cheer. Now he's gone, we've naught to fear. Let's go and watch a film at view. I hear they're showing Frozen too. So, at Milestones, you never know what you may see next time you go. Remember, friends, do keep in mind the lonely wizard you may find. It might be false, but some folks say he's still there to this very day. <laughs>